Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am reading for October 20th through the 26th. This is the transition from Libra season into Scorpio season and the veil gets thinner. Anyway, these, uh, you know, I want to let you know, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to God, source, Jesus, and ask whatever the message is to come through and hopefully it will resonate. But remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. So take what you like, leave the rest. This is the overview, and that means I'll just go through what's going on in the world, what's going on in the heavens, and then I will be doing the, the individual sign readings afterwards. Now, I probably will get those posted tomorrow. I am doing this, what date? October 14th. So let's see what we've got going on now. The cards that I use, I like to tell you what cards I'm going to use for my readings, and usually I use a lot of Radley Valentine. So this is the Guardian Angel. This is the, I should know all of these names, right? Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now this is going to be for the, indi for the individual sign readings. I will use the Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies, Francis Monroe, Judy Mastrangelo, uh, my Emily Anderson Crystal and Energy deck, I'm going to finish up with the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle. Now, for this reading, I will use, again, Angel Wisdom Tarot. I really enjoy this deck quite a bit. And, of course, the Fairy Tarot cards. Again, I have prayed. I have meditated. I have infused all the decks with Reiki energy. I am a Reiki 3 practitioner. And I've done other things too, so, um, you know, I have given it all. Now let's see what we have going on. I'm going to just jump over to that. Oh, I got to change this over a second. Give me a second. I don't want you to go and see. I want you to get right into that. Okay, hold on one second. All right, here we go. We're going to change this over. And this is... The hyphen astrologer.net and my glasses are somewhere. So hold on one second again. I'm going to go find my glasses wherever I may have left them. Where's my little button to pause? Okay, we got this all up here. Yeah, I do this out of my bedroom um, where I'm not very stylistic with everything, but it is about the information. So let's see. Got my glasses on. The hyphen astrologer.net next month. Um, I did have something with Leo, I mean with Libra, it was doing something with Pluto um, around that 22nd, so we do have some, I think it was Mercury and Libra, um, no that wouldn't be because Mercury is there, hold on a second, and so, but some, Merc the Sun, the Sun and Libra was doing something with Pluto in, um, in Capricorn, so there could be some really interesting, um, news coming out you remember pluto is the one it is now direct so that is all good that's good because it is now heading into aquarius season not quite yet but it is getting there um it is going direct it is it is it it means business okay it means business and it needs to complete a lot of things libra is about the scales is about justice is bringing things into a balance so it'll be very very interesting what happens at that time so that's around the 22nd of october 22nd the sun does enter into scorpio a water sign mercury at 13 degrees now 13 degrees in the tarot card is about, is the death card is transformation card is release card also so we've got some releasing some new information a lot of times with that 13 um, it's really about something has to end to something has to begin. Now, Mercury is communication, is electronics, is a lot of things to do with Internet. It is trining with Saturn, which is retrograde in Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, both water signs. Uh, Saturn is rules. Also, Saturn has a lot of karmic resolution to it, too. So it's trining, it's partnering with this. There could be some very big reveals. Again, I told you that Mercury, I mean, that, that when the sun, right before the sun entered Scorpio, that it was doing something with Pluto. Libra was doing something with Pluto. So there could be some really big um, 
surprises during this time. So now we jump to the 24th, and the 24th we have Mars, 26 degrees in Cancer. And Mars is going to go into, for a little bit of time, going down here, The if I can find it, Mars will be going sometime in November into Leo, um, and then it will retrograde back into Cancer. So we've got some, you know, what we have about Cancer. Cancer is, again, a, a water sign. It is... Uh, you know, emotional. It has a lot to do with a lot of courage. There's a lot of courage in cancer, believe it or not, uh, but it has a lot to do with your home and protecting the home. And we've got Mars, which is the warrior god on the 24th, um, you know, sextiling. So there is a loose connection again with Uranus, which is retrograde with Taurus. Taurus is an earth sign. Uranus is expect the unexpected. So I'm just going to say there's going to be some really interesting, um, I don't know if we want to say revelations, if we want to say surprises, we want to say, um, you know, a lot of courage, courage type of energy here. Um, you know, we just have a lot of things that's going to happen. It's just going to be popping out. It may feel like it's a little bit too much for us. Just have patience, have trust in God, like I'm always telling you. Trust. What was the one I did a couple of weeks ago? Trust in God, still prepare. Kind of feel like we're still in that type of um, energies. Remember, they do not, the energies don't just, um, they don't just flip off, okay? <laughs> flip off. <laughs> and, you know, it's not like a light switch. How about if I put it that way? It's not like a light switch that just turns itself on or off. They, you know, it's more like, um, you know, like a dimmer switch. It's more kind of like, you know, watercolors that kind of blend into each other too. So we're still in some interesting times. We will be in interesting times. Remember, you know, going forward with the planets, I look, I'm not necessarily an astrologer. They know so much more than I do, but I do look into the past, into the history and the history when, you know, we had Pluto in Capricorn transitioning to um, Aquarius, there was all this revolutionary and, and social reform, art reform, literature reform, industrial reform. There was a lot of revolutions happening during this time. Also, you know, some people weren't ready for it. Some people were very eager to jump ahead. So we got, we're still transitioning. We're still going towards that. Um, so we will see what we will see. So let's see what we have going on here. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you want to say to everyone out there? What's going on for this, this time period in the world? And also remember, a um, couple of things that I'm always telling you, you know, so I hate to be redundant, but it's good to be reminded of this. No matter what's going on in the world, we can pray against that, okay? Or we can pray for that, or we can pray towards that. But whatever is going on in the world, we need to live our lives in our time and in our, you know, in our energies too. And one of the things with our energies, we were called here, you know, I, I don't have a lot of people that actually watch, but I have more than I ever expected. So we were called here, we were brought together in order to keep our vibrations very high because that's what we need to connect with. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Let's see, so one of these cards is reversed, not quite sure which, but let's see. First card, that one is. Now, we have the, now reverse cards to me mean pay attention. We've got a strong message for you. Now, we have a, and there's a lot of cancer stuff here because we, you know, we've got that, that's, 6-9 type of energy there too. Um, we've got a waxing moon going on with that. But thing about the chariot, major arcana, it is a number seven. I always look at sevens as a divine umbrella. When I see sevens, I'm like, thank you, God. You know, I love that because it doesn't mean when you go outside and you have your umbrella and if it's bad weather, and we've had a lot of bad weather in you know certain areas and we're still having that in certain areas um, you know it doesn't mean that you're going to stay dry but what it is is that umbrella is going to protect a good portion of you okay you're going to have more protection than if you did not have that umbrella now so we have that divine umbrella divine protection 
We also have it connected with Metatron, Metatron believed to have been Enoch before the flood, the book of Enoch, the time of the Nephilim, um, there, you know, right be, you know, before the flood where everything was washed away and made, I don't know if it was made clean or not, but things were washed away. So now we have the chariot. The chariot is very fast moving energy to me. Okay, very fast moving. Now, the one thing you need to remember about the chariot, I know I speak in such concretes. One thing you should know about the chariot is the, you know, look at, there is no reins on these unicorn horses. You know, there is, you know, the angel is there. There's a light that is, you know, there, it, you know, he's holding the light up, but they don't really know. They don't really need any of this. This is the one that I always say, you know, this is where you give the reins to God. You know, Jesus, take the wheel. I, you know, I know things are going the way they need to go. Uh, I'm going to trust in you, and I'm just going to trust that we will get to our destination, even if we're flying up in the air. Now, the chariot also has very good vibes, good promotion. Things will work out okay. You just have to have a lot of trust. Rewards that come from hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once. Determination and willpower. Public recognition. So that one's very... Um, Fast energy, things are moving. You have to have a lot of trust. Good energy will come out of it. Good results will come out of it. You have to trust. Okay, okay, now we have a we have another major arcana. Now this one doesn't usually come up in this deck for me. This one is the Hierophant. Now I do not like the Hierophant in normal decks, okay? The Hierophant is dogmatic. The Hierophant is about the business of religion, the business of government, the business of anything that is to do with social or society, okay? It's it's the reining in. It's the, con, you know, conform with what I tell you to conform with. But this is called now the wise counselor. He has his keys, the keys to gates, keys to doors. There, this is also Sandalfin. Sandalfin, like Metatron, uh, walked on the earth. Sandalfin is believed to be Elijah. Both um, Enoch and Elijah walked on the earth, um, and then they never died physically. They transformed, and they went up into the air, up into the heavens, okay? And then they became angelic beings, which is not something that normally happens. <laughs> anyway, we have a five. Five is about change. Um, could be good, could be negative. It could just be change in itself, something that you have to look at something a little bit differently. So the um, sandal fin has a lot of, well, you can see that there's a lot of religious symbols here. A lot of religious symbols. There is the uh, the two pillars. There is um, you know connected with Taurus energy. Remember, we have Uranus um, in Taurus right now. Expect the unexpected. Uh, so maybe some changes coming into the government. Changes coming into religion. Changes coming into the dogma. This is very dogmatic energy. Um, I'm not necessarily disliking him, but again, I'm always leery. I'm always wary when the Hierophant, or in this case, the wise counselor comes. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Okay, I like that one. Ask that divine for help and trust the answers will come. And that goes back to this one also. And I, so this one actually, I like, I like this message. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. So we do have a lot of things out there about ascension energy going from 3D to 5D. Um, you know, do we live in the matrix? Are we unplugging the plugs? There's a lot of things out there um, opening eyes and seeing what the truth is. Well, whether we can handle that or not, again, trust in God. Trust in God. Next card is... We have four. We have the four of air. So we have got a lot of divine, a lot of universal, a lot of things going on in the heavens, okay? Now we come to a four. Four is stability, organization, and leadership. Air is our Aquarius, our Libra. So remember, we're going from Libra to Scorpio. 
and then Pluto is heading towards that Aquarius, okay? It will be in its shadow period. Well, it's a slow moving, so I would say anywhere at the end of October to that October 4th or 5th. It's, you know, it, it will be going into its shadow period where the Aquarius energy is becoming more apparent. And as it gets closer and closer, you're going to be feeling more, um, you know, being a little bit more outgoing, if you want to say that. It's also Gemini. Remember, Gemini is also, does have Jupiter in it. Jupiter is the plan. It's Jupiter's retrograde, right? Revisiting a lot of stuff, Jupiter is the planet of good fortune, and it's also the planet of enlargement. So even though it's good fortune, it also enlarges a lot of different types of energies, okay? Air energy is our thought processes, thinking things through, communications, um, making some plans. So, it, so things could seem that much bigger going forward. So let's see. Insights that come from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep. Now this is connected with Raziel. Again, this is minor arcana, but it is connected with Raziel, and it's connected with a number nine, and that would be the Hermit card, okay? Raziel is um, also connected with the Magician and with the Hermit in these decks, and the Hermit basically is connect with God, connect with Source, uh, take some time out. So we've got, we've got a lot of things. This is a lot of this is let God handle a lot of this stuff. Pray, meditate, put your energies where they need to be going, but also take care of yourself. Raziel is the angel of occult knowledge. Occult doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be scary. It could be good, bad. It's hidden knowledge. And then we have that nine. Nine is there's a completion with a nine. So interesting things going on in the world. Let's see what else we might have. We're going to do the fairy tarot cards, higher power, Holy Spirit. What else do you want to say? What else do you want to say for this October 20th to the 26th? We are coming to um, Halloween, All Saints Day, All Souls Day. We are coming to a time when the veil between this world and you know the physical and the metaphysical becomes very, very thin. And, um, you know, so there, there's a lot of things reaching out towards us and a lot of things we're reaching out towards too. I always, you know, I try, I try, I try, you know, please... Everybody who's watching, my family, myself, please, Lord Jesus, cover us in your cloak of protection. Kind of a quick little Ephesians 6.10. Um, and, you know, get us through what we need to get through. Um, mercy and grace, mercy and grace. Here we go. Let's see, higher power. Anything else? Anything else going on here? So let's see. This one is also reversed. Ego ego so this is a 15 this is five 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 change 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 10 plus five transitioning with change one plus five six six is the number of man this is also considered the devil card this is facing your fears facing the fears of the world this is also understanding that we just don't know everything and the more i know the more i know i don't know so this is facing, just facing a lot of things that are in our face that's going to kind of be like, you know, I, I don't really want to face it. No, no, let's, let's do something else instead. However, this is facing your fears. Now in the devil card, one of the things I do like about the weight rider, I do like the devil, the devil card because when you look at the couple, they are in chains that they can easily slip off if they chose to. But the thing about the couple in that card is that they are losing their humanity. So with the ego facing our fears, it is also becoming vulnerable and it is also maybe even finding our humanity. So it's, it's gonna be kind of a interesting, maybe rough for some people week, but in many ways, there's gonna be a lot of protection going on too. So. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. So Kai never really looked at this card. So he's burning something. 
interest and she looks okay with what's happening with the doll so they they it looks like they're facing some fears um they're you know again placing too much on material items uh it, again take the wheel so we've got i don't know that we're we're just heading i told you that pluto that Pluto, and as we're getting closer and closer, I've been talking about this, you know, Pluto is transformation. Um, it's also the Phoenix energy. It's also, you know, um, uh, you know, if you think about the Greek or Roman mythology, it is the underworld. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of disruptions. <sighs> and while it's in Capricorn, Capricorn being an earth sign, money, job, career, home, also hierarchy, also patriarchy, a lot of disruptive energies. Think of 2008 to the beginning of 2024, and it we are in the home stretch. Stay chilled, okay? Stay cool, believe, have faith. It, it doesn't mean everything gets beautiful, but we do go into a new chapter soon enough. Anyway, do me a favor, please, because it does help. Please share the video. You know, if, you know it, whatever it is, you know, if you get anything out of it, please share the video with others. Also do the like, the, you know, again, the sharing and the clicking on the bell. Most important part, because we are, we are into some really very metaphysical times, very spiritual times. Um, you know, the, you know, the war, the war between good and bad, if you want to even say it that way, we are in those times. But I want you to always know, and I, I end all my videos this way, always know that you are loved, okay? Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.